Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Kamiya Simon. At the time of recording, so far we are coming to 700 subscribers and I encourage you to subscribe. I also encourage you to hit the like button, comment and share this video so that we can beat the YouTube algorithm. Alright, I also encourage you to go ahead and support uh, by clicking on the link in the description. Just donate. It can be anything from $5 and above. And uh, those for those uh, who donate, you have free access to the code. You don't need to type the code again. Free access to some videos that are dedicated to the people who donate to the channel. With that said, let's continue. Alright, so we already installed View Router. And in this video, we're going to be setting up view router for ourselves. All right. So the first thing we need to do, we're going to see, we want to make this welcome or the YouTube here. Remember, I, ha I imported a component. Uh, I have YouTube as the main component here, but I'm going to change that. No worries. And YouTube is imported. Uh, it's imported and reused. Now I am going to remove example. I'm going to deal with that. However, if you do not have the folder components, just go ahead and create a folder components. And inside components, I'm going to create a folder called pages. Okay, so I'm going to have components and pages. I'm going to create a folder called pages inside these components. And we can have different pages, no worries. So I'm going to go to pages. Okay, then I create a new file. And I'm going to create a welcome page, I think. And I'm going to call it maybe home.view. Home. I can uh, come and request home.view. Home.view. All right. As usual, we're going to create a template. Just that. And then we're going to create a simple div. And maybe we're going to create a p tag. I'm going to create an h1. Let me first increase uh, the size of the code syntax here so that we can see clearly. All right. So I'm going to create an H1 here. Control plus. So I'm just increasing the size. All right. Let me see what it will come to. All right. Is this too big? <laughs> okay. So let me just resize it here. So I'm going to create an H1. And this H1 will be the home page. Okay, great. Then I'm going to go ahead still in my pages. Okay. So components, pages. And then I'm going to create a new one, a new page, and I call it about. Let's begin with that. About, just like we had. So about.view, just like we had it in the CLI. So the people who are following along in the CLI. Okay, so I'm going to I just put the in pages. Anyway, I don't have anything in, in components. And um, I think I can have one called welcome. It will depend. So I'm going to create one under now components called welcome dot view. Let me just caps lock it. Welcome. Come I'll case it. Dot view great so i'm going to have welcome but view have my uh, navigation bar we shall come uh, to that later so i'm going to have welcome but view so this will be a div and an h1 tag that says welcome page great and then i'm going to create another uh, template here for the about page so with the div and then an h1 and then this will be the about page okay i'll just come and kiss it about page all right so i won't be bothered with that so much all right so the first thing i'm going to do if I go, for example, to our app.js, okay, we can come here and then we bring in the component, and this component is going to be welcome, and then it will be the default component, and then we're going to be taking from welcome.view, 
Yes, welcome dot view. Okay, it's under components. So the, you don't need to worry about the rest of these. All right, so let me go ahead and double check what we have. So it's reloading. All right, so welcome.view is not showing here what is in welcome because when I go to my welcome page, I do not have, I need to change this from YouTube to welcome. All right, so we should be able to update. So that's the welcome page. Now, I'm going to simply go and grab a nav from, uh, from Bootstrap. I'm going to grab a nav bar from Bootstrap so that you see what I really mean. I'm going to just grab a quick nav bar. So is nav. This is Bootstrap Viewer. So I'm going to grab a quick nav, nav bar. I'm going to... Not going to take so much. All right. So, first of all, when you create any page, for example, the welcome page, the first thing you need to have, you must have a main entry. So this can be a div. So it can still be a B container. So we, we are re using Bootstrap. So B container. Okay. And inside that B container, just below the welcome, I'm going to uh, place that. So I'll delete this div because I have a big container already. And where is this other div? All right, so this other thing can be a bureau. So when I go back and check. All right, so there it is, but it's still in the center based on now the previous Laravel settings. I'm just going to go to welcome.html here, welcome.blade. And then I need to delete the rest, for example. Let me see. All right, so I had to remove some Laravel syntax. Now, this is a page. If I need to include any page just below this, I'll have to call it in. So if I need my welcome data and um, my home data and uh, welcome page data, they'll have to go below this. All right, so for that case, I just include them as components here. So what do I do? I go to my welcome.view. Uh, Okay, then I decide that I need to include components, which components I first import in the script tag. So I need to create a script, script tag. Okay, and inside the script tag, no, this is not the one I expect. <laughs> okay, inside the script tag, I need to import. For example, I'm going to import about from now one dot okay inside pages then about dot view all right then first of all i need to export default i need to make sure that i export default export default okay so this is export default and then what default am I exporting? So, so export default, and then I need to have data, and then I return data. But here, I need to have components, okay, components, and then one of the components I'm, I'm going to have is about, great. So uh, this warning is because we need a comma, great. So which means I can come beneath this and I'm going to create another, okay, the other one is a B container, so I'm going to create a B row, just like a bootstrap row, and then I include the about page that I have as a single component. Great, so let's double check this side. So you see we can have, we have the about page. And then the same thing we're going to do. So we're going to import again. So import, okay, home from, import home from, then in quotes dot, still home is in pages, and then it's home dot view. So you, it's, you, you can see it's automatically suggesting. So it's home 
dot view. Great. So we need to import it here in our component. So we just put a comma and then we bring home. All right. So try to use camel cursing. I'm not using it here, but in most cases it brings a good pattern. So the only thing I need to do is bring home here. So I'll be bringing home. Okay. Great. And then if I come back, you can see we have the home page and the about page on the same under the welcome page. Now, what view router is going to help us do is to make sure that we create links here in the nav bar so that when we click on the links, we display data that is meant to be on the about page and data that is meant to be on the home page. All right, so that's now when view router comes in handy. So let's see now. Now we've been uh, embedding components into each other. So for us to be able to use view router, okay, we're going to go to our JS here folder, and then we're going to create one called router, a new folder called router. Okay, and inside this folder called router, I'm just going to create one called router.js. Great, as common syntax, the first thing you need to do is import, import view, that's a capital view, from view, the small view. Then you'll be able now to import, import, so router. Now, this can be any other name, but it's, it's very good to, to make sure that you are uniform with other with other like developers what other developers have so that's why you can see that we're trying to use the same syntax otherwise you can give it another name but on the record it's very important so that you keep in mind that other developers will be editing your software okay so what are we going to import So import router, so I'm going to use camel casing. So import router, okay, from, from view router, not express, from view router. From view router, there it is. Now, what express had done, Okay, in the case I'm importing so many things from the same, like from the same uh, source, from the same plugin, I just put a comma and then I include whatever I need to. So that's what that meant. So after creating that, we're going now to use, so view, this view, the capital view that we have here. So let view use, so view.use router. So the router now. So with that done, now we can import the, uh, for example, we can import the components themselves, okay? So for example, the first component I'm going to have, okay? So I'm going to import, now remember I'm inside the router folder here. I must go out of it and then I go to the components. So I'm going to import about, okay, from now dot okay dot stroke so i'm out of the router folder i'm looking for the components folder components stroke uh, under components i'm looking for pages and under pages i'm looking for about okay so it's i, I remember very well it's camel cast so about dot view you cannot you can even not put dot view it doesn't matter but about so I'm also going to import now, once more, this time around it's not about, it's home, so with a caps lock, so home from components and then the pages, home.view. All right, so what do we want? We're going to create a variable, a single variable to carry all those paths, and that variable can be called routes, you can call it a different name, but universally it's very good so that uh, your programmers uh, can have access or can easily find out what you're using. So, 
routes is going to be an array of routes and inside that array we're going to have objects so it's an array combined with objects and the object is going to contain one the path the path and for example our first path is going to be the default path okay but let me first eliminate having it as a default path and then um, let me add this maybe. What do I need to add? So maybe about. <laughs> let me create about. No worries. I'll, uh, because there's something I want to show you. So comma, we need to give the route a name. And then that name can be maybe about page. And then lastly, the other thing we need we need to identify now the component okay so the component is so this is the path now the component is this it's like the component that we are trying to access so the component it's a single uh sorry it's not so many components component it's a single uh i had uh, tapped on the components that it brings as an array all right so the component is about now i usually use about page or about so that i can know that this component is the component of the about page not any other component so i'll choose about page and then this be home page so this will be about page all right so with that done we're going to have to create another great so the other we're going to create is for you guessed it the home page so this will be home okay and then this will be the home page and then it will be tapping from home page all right so we need to export this okay so that it can be re-accessed in our entry point which is the app.js and how do we export it? We just type export, export, and then what are we exporting? We're exporting default. And then we are creating a new default, which is route. And this route will be used the other side. And then into brackets, it's going to carry, it's like a function, the route function. And then we're going to first have routes. I'll talk about mod, no worries. So, and which routes is it taking? It's taking these routes up here, okay? Remember, this is a constant variable. So, which means we have to go to app.js and then we import it. Remember, we've exported the routes here. So, we need to come and import our router here in the entry point. So, we're going to import. So, import router. So import router, okay, from router to router, just like that. And then we make sure that router is among the things we export. Okay, I'll just put it below the div. So router, okay, can be among the things that we export. I'll put a comma on it, no worries. So for us to use this router, we're going to go to our welcome and then of first come so we have about and welcome in the link here okay so we're going to include our router link so we're going to call router link so that's a way to call the router so router link and then inside we add our home maybe and then we we'll do the same for okay so it's going to be router link and then we shall have our about. Great, so let's double check. All right, so I'm going to remove these components here because they can be bringing issues with our things. So I'm going to remove these two components from that row, double check. And then I'm going to include something called the router view. So I'm going to include router view. Okay, so router view displays what our routers have or what our pages have based on the route 
let me add this so router to home okay so to home so that's the path and then i double check and there it is where's my about come on okay here it is so that is the first way the second way i can do is create uh, this sort of thing like an uh, uh, into calibras calibrases and i now use the name and which name am i using this is about was it about page or something okay so router link to So this is equals so okay so name about so let me first check here in my router okay it's about great so let me save all and then we come back here okay so when i click on home we see the home page when i click on about have i put the right okay the name is home page and the other is a hub. the name is about page great so this is about page okay great so when i click on about page form about page have i done the right thing about page so let me link to okay great about page home page okay so what was missing was this and then you can see we have our home and about page over here all right so now we can now include a component into a component so which means i can go and create now a component here so i'm going to create now screens i'm going to create a new folder and i call it screens and this screens is going to hold my other components for example i'm going to create one called maybe about info about info or about menu so about info okay about info dot view great so i'm going to create a simple template there and i call a div as an entry point great it's supposed to be div and then inside the div i'm going to put an h2 tag or h3 and then that h3 will be this this is the about info the about info great so i save now i do not need to create a route for this okay because this is just um a component so i just need to come to the about page and then i create a script tag there it is, I don't need to input this. Okay. I just need to, I don't know. Let me create another, <laughs> another. So I've created a script, so I'm going to import. And what am I importing? I'm importing AB info, maybe for about AB info from, now remember I'm already in the about page, so I need to go out of it. So I need to press two dots, then I stroke. So I go to screens and under screens, I'm looking for about info. So what do I need to do now? Again, I need to make sure that I have components. So I register the component in components. Okay. And that component is called maybe AB info. Great. So AB info. Uh, by the way, it needs to be exported by default, and that's the error it's giving me. So I need to export. Okay, I need to export. And what am I exporting? Default. Okay, and then I can now include my component. So what I need now, under this the about page, I just need to call my component, which is about info. A B info. It's a, it has a self-closing tag. Great. So when we go ahead, okay, to our home page. So I didn't even need to reload. 
So and, uh, but if I go to the homepage, you can see it has nothing because it has no component and this. So which means I can put my calculations in here. Okay? And I also can add a shopping cart up here. And how are we going to do that? We can meet in the next video. So we've kind of officially started our project. Uh, sorry for this long video, but that's very important. Now, I do have this here on the side. This helps me navigate my errors and also, you know, look through the console. All right, so let's meet in the next video uh, where we shall be now creating, a, uh, I think I'll, I'll be creating now the look of my, you know, page or something and then we are also going to look at view works in about two to three videos to come so keep there keep subscribing let's meet and lastly one thing that has skipped my mind is the mod so the history mod now when you when you come to the browser here you can see that there is a hashtag now there's no way you need that hashtag there in most cases you need uh, to go straight to the about Okay, but you can see each link that I click has that hashtag. All right, so how do we do that? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and then in our router.js, okay, we put a mod and that mod will be history. Then we put a comma and we save. So if I come back, all right, I'm going to click so now you see we no longer have that hashtag there all right so thank you so much let's meet in the coming videos remember this is a project so i'm not going to go through most things such as quitting an api but i want to to show how vue.js makes a certain logic easy let's meet in that coming video thank you so much for watching